Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Matt and this is the second episode of my building link shortener tutorial. In this episode, we are going to build the layout of our application using and design. So please hit the like button and subscribe and enjoy it. As you can see, this element is sort of centered. So basically it means that there is some remaining CSS files from the welcome application, which we need to remove now. So let's go back to the editor. And you can see that in the styles directory, there is home.module.css file, and we need to clean it. So let's select all and remove it and save. Let's see how it looks like. Now you can see our button in the left top corner, which basically means that there is no styles attached to it. So now we can actually start to design our application. And the next thing we need to do is to find a layout component in AntD, which basically we can find in our documentation, layout section, layout. And then basically we can see the components which are included in this in it. So, so here we can basically see the overview of the components which are used to build layouts. And basically we need to just simply implement them in our application. So basically let's get started. As you can see, they have very straightforward name is layout, header, cider, content and footer. We will implement the very first option which contains header, content and footer. So let's go back to the code and let's start to build the layout. So instead of this div, we'll change it into layout component, uppercase. And you, as you can see, we also need to import this one by putting it into the import file. Let's check how our application looks like now. As you can see, it turned gray and a button has been stretched on the whole size of the website. So now let's add the header. So basically we just type header, not like uppercase, header, Let's put some logo inside of it. Styles. And the header we need to import from the layout. It's basically under the layout object. So simply we need to type const header comes from layout. This operation in JavaScript is called destructuring. Let's see how our application looks right now. Now you can see that we have number at the top of our website, but the logo is still missing. To create a logo, we put there like a gray square. So let's go back to code and let's define it in the CSS file. So let's create an entity called logo. It's going to be on the left side. It will have the width, let's say 120 pixels, height 30 pixels, and background. Let's use RGBA 255, 255, 255, and the Make it, let's make it a bit transparent. Let's see how it looks like. It is here, this, so this is our logo. Now we need to add some margin around it. So let's go back to the code. Let's add some margin. 16 pixels, 24 pixels, 16 and zero because we don't need the margin in the bottom. So let's see how it looks like. And now it's actually in the correct position. I think it is a due time to re get rid of this button and put the footer like our documentation shows. So let's go back to code. Open index.tsx. Let's remove the button. Let's put the footer.
and let's add some text. So yet another link shortener. Yes. Copy twenty twenty one. Let's save. Now you can see our footer, it doesn't actually look like a footer. So I think we're supposed to center this text and make it stick to the bottom. But we'll not make it stick in the, to the bottom right now. We need to define the content at first. Uh, but let's center it. So we can do this by adding the class name into footer. And let's call the class footer. Let's save it. In the meanwhile, let's define that as footer and we'll simply just center it text align center done let's see and it is centered so now we need to define the content of the website so basically the place where the link form will be displayed let's go back to code let's open index.tsx now we are going to define content and let's put some text here we need to of course import the content from the layout let's save it let's see how it looks like now as you can see we have here the uh, text which basically says tests so now basically we we'll display this message in the content. Here we go. Now our application has three sections, header, content, and the footer. So now we can actually finish implementing the content. I think now we should stretch the content section to take the full height of the website. Open code. Let's add class CSS class into the content. We will call it content. Let's define its CSS. It was before the logo, so so the content is higher than the footer, so let's put it above the footer class. So let's define the content. So now let's define the content. Let's add some padding. So the text is not on the left hand side. And we need to define the mean height, which is basically 100% viewport height minus 64 pixels, which is just the height of the header and 70 pixels, which is the height of the footer. Let's save it. It's the content is stretch. The margin matches basically the logo. It looks very good. I guess now you are wondering how did I even know that I need to deduct 64 pixels for header and 70 pixels for the footer. We can do it with the inspector by right clicking on element and pressing inspect and browser will display basically this element on the right hand side we can simply select this tool to inspect element and you can see that this component has 64 pixels height and the footer has 70 pixels height and that's it for today in the next episode we are going to build a form where the user will be able to paste their links. So stay tuned, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for your time.